morning. Thank you for all the encouraging messages you've been sending in. It's very odd standing here in chapel day after day, all on my own, talking to a video camera, but it's good to know that these recordings are appreciated by so many people. The videos are mainly intended for the boys and girls of the school, of course, but clearly they're being passed on to friends, parents, grandparents, and to rugbyans all around the world. Welcome to you all as part of the wider rugby school community. It's Wednesday, and that means that chapel will be led by one of the houses. Today, we're going to hear from members of Sheriff House. But first, our hymn. Inspirational is a word thrown about quite often. Wow, what an inspiration. Everyone has heard someone say something along these lines, but in actuality, what does it mean? The definition of inspire is to feel with the urge or ability to do or feel something, especially to do something creative. Someone who is inspirational has qualities similar to anyone in the rugby school community. These include being devoted, helpful, understanding, selfless and respected to name a few. Started in 2010 by Bill and Melinda Gates worth 88.5 billion and Warren Buffett worth 74.2 billion, the Giving Pledge 
is a commitment by wealthy individuals and families to give away more than half of their wealth to causes including poverty alleviation, refugee aid, disaster relief, global health and education, women and girls empowerment, medical research, arts and culture, criminal justice reform and environmental sustainability. The inspiration behind their acts of philanthropy is to reallocate and give back to the less fortunate people of the world who are not provided with the same resources and support that the more wealthy individuals are given. Ben Stokes and Jack Leach are the 76 run partnership in the Ashes to go on to lead their team into lifting the urn. The team, their partnership and preparation allow them to inspire each other and prove that the success was not just an option, but a possibility. Jack Leach's selflessness, patience and knowledge of his limits inspired many people to get on the cricket field and support their country. Unfortunately, not everyone watching will win the Ashes, but it doesn't take away from these qualities being something you can all aspire to have, to use and to work on in yourselves. In these times of hardship and illness, the ideology of giving to people who are struggling has never been more necessary. Whether it's offering to go to the shops for a neighbour or even staying two metres back from someone at the supermarket. Everybody watching this can inspire people to stay home and stay safe. But it extends past that. Everyone here has the opportunity to inspire people to push themselves and each other to achieve new heights. You can inspire people you do not know are watching you. By leading by example in the small things, it will create a culture of being the best version of you that you can be, which is a personality trait invaluable to everyone. To help stay inspiring and to be an inspiration, you can do little things like FaceTiming friends in and out of school, cooperating in online lessons, or just asking if a friend or family member is okay. It's up to everyone watching to try their best to be the best version of their self and their own version of an inspiration during this time of adversity and beyond. Let us pray. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your lobe in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Finally, we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.